What is going on guys? Welcome to the very first ever Foreman Friday. So this is something that I've been thinking about doing for a little while now. And so basically the premise is that uh, I drive around, well not drive around, I play a video game. I play any game. Today it's going to be Grand Theft Auto. And amidst, uh, you know, playing the game, we are going to be cooking my dinner slash lunch, whatever it is. And so we've got a lot of ingredients over here. We have got some nice Italian bread, we've got a block of uh, pepper jack cheese, we've got some spinach, tomatoes, some uh, like salami slash sausage, and also some uh, some canned hot peppers. Those are gonna be delicious. Canned by, I think, my dad. And so those are awesome. And of course, as with any sandwich you should have, we've got some pickles, a big jar of pickles. So. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, we are in my office. We've got the foreman set up here next to my computer. I'm gonna try not to burn the house down. Um, I'm not very sure how the structure of the stream's gonna go. We've we've never done this before. Uh, as you can see, I had to use my old webcam here, my old 720p C310. That's gonna need upgraded here real soon, because you can see this quality just isn't up to par. It is not where I'd like it to be. All right, my controller is booting up. It should be booting up. I guess I probably should have done that before we started the stream. Whoa, why is it so foggy out? Did I not set the weather to be sunny? There we go. There we go, that looks so much better. That looks so much better. Um, okay, so, let's go ahead and hop right into this. Let me see if I can, ah, that's why that wasn't working. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear that USB sound, you probably could. Uh, that's why my controller wasn't connecting. There we go, okay. It was not pushed in all the way. All right, so anyways, uh, let's hop right into it. Let me bring up the live stream chat here so I can see what you guys are saying. Then uh, basically you guys can decide what I do today in GTA. And once we do a little bit of that, we're gonna start slicing up the ingredients, get the foreman heated up. Uh, it's gonna be legit. So um, where am I going here? How do I bring up the live stream chat? <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of rusty at this after the whole break that I took. Okay, there we go. So what is up everybody? Welcome to the stream. Thank you all for being here for the first ever Foreman Friday. Uh, basically, I kind of want this to be an interactive type thing. Um, I'm probably, that's not too loud, is it? I don't think it should be. I'm gonna do uh, some polls here and you guys are gonna be the ones who choose what I play or not what I play. You guys are gonna choose what I make for Foreman Fridays. I might give you three options, then we'll vote, and you guys will decide what we make in the next Foreman Friday. So for this one today, I decided to keep it kinda simple, and uh, we are gonna be making a melt. Grilled cheese was a little too simple, so I've got some other side ingredients, like I said. So, uh, drive up Mount Chiliad. That's not a bad first challenge. I mean, it's a reasonable challenge. What kind of cheese? That's, you're asking the important questions, man. You're asking the questions that really matter. It is pepper jack. So I think that should go well with everything. Um, you know, with the hot peppers, the Italian bread, all that good stuff. We have like some trail sausage. Make tacos. Here's the only thing, guys. For Foreman Fridays, it's gotta be done on a Foreman. So if we did tacos, we would have to find a way to cook the ground beef on the Foreman. And if we could do that, then it would be allowed. But the rule is, it needs to be able to be cooked on a Foreman. All right, so what do you guys think? Should we, uh, ooh yeah, steak? We could definitely do steak. I was thinking of even trying to do like a gourmet meal. Do something like ridiculous, something that you should never be able to do on a foreman and just try it. Even if it turns out horribly, it would be hilarious. Can you raise it? Raise what? The game volume? Yeah, I can, uh, I can raise the game volume there for you guys. I didn't realize it was so quiet. All right, let me know how this is. This should be a little better for game volume. Is that a little bit better? Yo, B Gamer, you're not late, dude. No worries. All right, so, uh, yo, Carlo, what is up? Guys, go ahead and drop a like down below. If, uh, if you're enjoying the stream, we are going to hop right into getting the ingredients prepared here right after this like spike. So drop those likes down below. Tell me in the chat that you did. I'm going to be doing uh, some shout outs here. Shouting out as many of you guys as I possibly can. Do a five-star rampage. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if we could do... Oh, that's not a bad idea, though. Get a wanted level and have to... Oh, guys, that might be it. That might be it. All right, let's start with a one-star wanted level. Do ASMR. 
Okay guys, uh, today we are going to be playing a little bit of Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> is that is that kind of how ASMR goes? I could probably do ASMR. I don't have the most soothing voice in the world, but I can make it soothing if I need to. <laughs> uh, yo, Multi Harvey, I do remember you, dude. I remember thinking, what is a Multi Harvey? So yeah, welcome back. Alright. Um... Oh, this is going to be tough. All right, let's not do the wanted level just yet. Maybe we'll do the wanted level once the cooking begins. But right now, guys, I'm going to turn over this way, and we're going to start getting some of these ingredients ready. Um, so here's our bread. The grill is not on yet. It's not hot. So let's start off by uh, cutting off a couple slices of our bread here. And one of the ideas of this series, guys, is... I want to show you guys just how easy it is to cook. People build up the idea of cooking, and it's like, oh, I don't know how to cook. Cooking's a pain. Today we are literally playing Grand Theft Auto in uh, cooking dinner at the same time. So I'm going to start by cutting off the end of this bread. Ooh, this is going to make a little bit of a mess, for sure. Oh well. I, I've already accepted that. All right, we can leave those crumbs. Um, let's just set that bread out of the way there, and let's cut off our first actual slice. I don't want it too thick. I think I'll do like the thickness of a regular slice. Hmm, kind of small. That's kind of small for a piece of bread. You can see that this bread is not very uniform here. It has a bulge in the side. What happened here? This thing have a blowout? Look at that. What kind of bread is shaped? This bread has a tumor. My bread has a tumor! What am I supposed to do with this? I guess make it work. That's all we can do. Alright, so let's cut off this second slice here. And I think I'm going to be making at least two sandwiches today, guys. As long as I have all this stuff out, it would be a waste to only make one sandwich. So we are going to be doing at least two, probably two, probably not a third. But uh, I'm going to get all four slices of my bread ready here. Um... Oh, all these crumbs. This is already making such a mess. I love it. Um, I'm going to keep trying to look at the chat here while I do this too, guys. So feel free to talk to me here in the chat. In fact, hold on real quick. I'm going to do the pop-out chat window because it's way bigger. And I can see way more messages at a time. Okay, this is so much better. Usually I can only see like six messages at a time. Now I can see... 20 or 25, so uh, if you guys are just tuning in, welcome to the first ever Foreman Friday here. Welcome, welcome. Okay, uh, we've got three slices of bread. Let's cut our fourth. I'm afraid that, ooh, I hope I didn't go too thin with some of these. This one might be a little thin. I don't know. It's got a big hole in it, too. That's not going to help. You can already see, like, uh, a big old crater in it. All right, so fourth slice of bread. There we go, that's a pretty clean slice. Um, all right, so these are actually, you know what, guys? I might do three sandwiches. These aren't that big. I mean, here's my hand. It's smaller than my hand. Um, if I was using regular bread, that might not be a problem. I think I'm gonna make three sandwiches today. I think we're gonna do three. I don't know. Let's let's just get them ready, because I've already got the grill up here. I've got all the ingredients out. You know, why not just uh, keep it keep it going? Get the most out of our time here. Okay. I kind of rushed that slice, but it didn't matter much. Cool. So the bread is cut and ready to go. We made a ton of crumbs here. So here's what I'm going to do. Set these slices of bread out of the way. Set our loaf of bread on the slices of bread, and I need to uh, get some of these crumbs into the trash here. Because we still have to cut up tomatoes on top of this and everything. And I don't want tomato juice mixing with my crumbs and getting them all soggy. And also, let's take a paper towel. And, okay. So guys, like I said, I don't really know how this is going to work today. I pictured this with me playing GTA and cooking. As you can see right now, we haven't really gotten a chance to play GTA. So this is only the first Foreman Friday. I'm sure as we go here, we will, uh, you know, we'll figure things out. But for the first one here, we are just trying to get by, guys. <laughs> okay, so let's bring out our next ingredients. Uh, we can slice up the cheese. Let me make a spot for my bread here. 
thread is going to go here out of the way. And okay. So uh, let's, let's get the cheese ready. As I said at the beginning, this is some Christmas Colby Jack cheese from my dad. You can see all those good uh, peppery bits and all that stuff in there. So this is the cheese we're going to be using. Uh, like I said, I thought about doing grilled cheese, but grilled cheese only has one ingredient. So I was like, you know what? Let's do a melt. Let's do a melt. Guys, I just want to reiterate, for the first Foreman Friday, I wanted to start easy. For, for, for future Foreman Fridays, I really do want to, uh, I want to challenge myself. I want you guys to suggest difficult foods to grill on a Foreman. Not necessarily difficult, but just like, I don't know. Something, uh, not like grilled cheese, like that's too easy. That's too easy. I know today we're kind of doing something like grilled cheese, but... Alright, that was a fail. I'm gonna test this cheese out. Mmm. I might be, uh, ooh. Yeah, this is, uh, this is spicy. This is spicy cheese. It is, it is pepper jack at the end of the day. Um, ooh. The heat's still building. I did not realize that this sandwich was going to be this hot. Alright, I think, uh... We probably should get our first sandwich going sooner than later. I'm gonna... I gotta work quickly here. I'm taking my time too much. We're gonna be here all day. Let's, uh... Pick up the pace a little bit. I am actually starting to sweat a tiny bit just from that little slice of cheese. I had no idea it was so hot. Oh my gosh. Pepper Jack, man. Hot dogs and hamburgers. We could do hot burgers and hamburgers, but again, I'm afraid those might be too easy. You know, I want it to be something, uh, something worth cooking. You know, something that uh, makes people want to watch. Nobody wants to watch me set some hot dogs on the surface of the foreman, you know? I'm talking like filet mignon, guys. I'm talking like, let's make steak. I want to see if we could even cook a pizza. Raw dough, maybe get the dough to rise on the foreman, and make a pizza on the foreman! It would be amazing. It would be amazing. Alright, so I'm getting us just a little bit closer to Mount Chiliad real quick. How old am I? I'm 24 years old. Let's try ribs for next month. That would be sweet. Maybe next week. I might try to make this a regular Friday thing. Hey, Gitchy, this is a very interesting circumstance. This will also be fun. Also, I haven't been on League in a while because I don't have it installed. I updated my CPU, MOBO, and RAM and had to reinstall Windows. Dude, Isaac, what happened to your system, man? I might not see your response if you send it through because i got to keep doing this, this sandwich here, but oh, you got to reinstall that, man. I hope uh, everything went okay with that. I know that whole thing can be a mess as far as like rebuilding computers, reinstalling things, all that. So right here guys, we've got the one and only tomato. Look at this little guy. Look at this little guy. We can just toss him around. He's a good little guy. He would never hurt us. He's just a little tomato. <laughs> what did I even just say? Of course he wouldn't hurt us. He's a tomato. Okay, and what do we have after this? We still have some spinach and stuff like that. Uh, this tomato is going to make a mess. It'll definitely make a mess. I think maybe I should do the tomato last. Um, we have butter for our grill. We're going to grill the, uh, or butter the grill before we put the bread down. Um, all right, so I guess let's just start uh, assembling a sandwich here. That's, that's all we really got to do here. Let's take some bread. Um, I'm not going to plug in the foreman yet. It heats up really quick, and I just don't think it needs to be plugged in yet. Um, ooh, that might already be enough cheese that I cut up. We might have done, like, the perfect amount, so... I wish you guys could see a little better what's going on over here. We got the cheese going on. Let's, uh... I've got a baggie of spinach here. So we are going to do some spinach. We also have some meat to put on. Ooh, let me... I don't want to be paused here. Yeah, let's let's leave it so that it's live up there. I like that. Can you make the Liberator with bigger tires and make it taller? Redneck, that's a good idea. Yeah, in a second here, I'll see if we can lift up the Liberator any taller. I don't think we're going to make the tires bigger. I don't think that's going to be possible. Um, I think that's going to be a limitation of the mod. But we will give it a try. Uh, Alright, so a little bit of spinach on there. 
There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Um, all right. So now meat time. I'm not a huge fan of this particular sausage here. Um, it's, I don't know. It's okay. It's not bad. It's a little too close to a hot dog for my liking, as opposed to being more like a trail sausage or something like that. It's got a little bit of a, a hot dog flavor to it. <clears throat> Uh, which is okay. I like hot dogs, but I only usually want to eat a hot dog when I'm eating a hot dog. If it's not a hot dog, don't make it taste like hot dog. You know what I mean? Okay. Camera work could be a little better here, guys. I was thinking I should have a camera more directly over the cutting board, but uh, as I keep saying, first ever Foreman Friday, it's not going to be perfect. I'm pretty excited here, guys. I think I'm going to have leftovers. Because we're doing three sandwiches, I'll probably only eat two. So then I'll have one for probably like later tonight when I'm getting really hungry. Um, all right, we are pretty close to being ready to uh, power up the grill here. We are getting real close. So let's do... We'll just do four slices here. I have not eaten much today, guys, so if I pass out or something on stream, that is why. <laughs> I was setting up for the stream, like, all day and didn't realize how much there was left to do. So, uh, alright, so we got all that. I feel like the tomato should be sandwiched between something, not necessarily, um, what kind of sausage is this? Let me find out, let me find out. I know a lot of you guys know your sausages. You guys are outdoorsmen. Some of you guys are hunters. This is nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. It is just, uh, <laughs> I thought it was better than that. It is literally just Hillshire Farm beef summer sausage. If it was up to me, we'd be using more of a, maybe a deli style meat. I don't know. This will be good though. Um, ooh, just got a text from my friend huh he's asking what I'm doing tonight um, all right cool so last things last uh, what else do we have we've got our meat on we've got our spinach I'm gonna actually put these over here out of the way um, butter ready to go leave the sausage there okay I think the last thing to do is the tomato so the tomato is going to make a little bit of a mess, so I wanted to save that for last. Uh, I think I'm going to put the tomato between the meat and the bread, because if the tomato is up against the bread itself, it's just going to get hot and soggy and soak into the bread. I wish we had sauce here, guys. I really do wish we had sauce. Um, I don't, I'm not planning on any sauce, though, here. Oops. Okay. Okay, so tomato, let's go. What's the proper way to cut a tomato? Is it this way? I think this way. Let's we'll start at the bottom here. Oh yeah. That's a good looking tomato right there. Too bad it's the off season. Usually my dad would have like a ton, a ton, hundreds of tomatoes. He plants like 200 tomato plants. They each make like, you know, 50 to 100 tomatoes themselves probably. So my dad grows literally hundreds of tomatoes. Um, all right, we're actually, these are big slices of tomato. So we can probably get by with just two slices there. And now we are going to finish this off with our meat on top. I'm getting excited here, guys. This is looking legit. Let me, let me hold this up to the camera here so you guys can see just what we're dealing with before we uh, put our other slice of bread on. Not looking too bad at all. Look at that. This should be pretty good. This should be pretty good. Then while this cooks, we're going to play some GTA while we wait. It shouldn't take long to cook. You updated to Ryzen. Congratulations, dude. Ryzen is sick. I'm an AMD investor myself, so I'm like, go AMD. No plans yet. Uh, 
Okay, sorry about that. I don't want to leave my friend uh, hanging for an hour, you know, because if he's trying to make plans for his night, I don't want to make him wait. Um, so that's that's the only text I'm sending this stream. Don't worry. Okay, here we go, guys. We're plugging in the foreman. Let's do it! Where's this thing at? If the stream randomly drops and goes down, it means that I blew a breaker, okay? I don't think we're going to blow a breaker here, but if we do... Ooh. What? Okay. I can see my lights dimming already, just plugging in the foreman. Like, I plugged it in. Ooh, this, this doesn't look... Hold on. Jeez, this thing's like sparking. I don't know if this is a good idea. This is kind of a dinky cord for a, a George Foreman. Ooh, this... I don't know how I feel about this. I'm gonna try this one more time here. I do not like the sparks that I'm seeing inside of this thing. Alright, I think it's on. I think it's good. Oh yeah, we are heating up. We are heating up. Alright, so let's get the butter ready. Because it's not enough to just grill it. We want some of that good butter bread, right? Uh, let me, uh... Okay. Butter time. Butter's going down on the grill now, and then the sandwich is ready. This thing is starting to make some heat. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is getting hot. So this is actually really good butter. Um, you're probably thinking, what do you mean good butter? This is, uh pure Irish butter. They call this grass-fed butter. What that means is that like the cows that went into help making this butter uh, are not just like factory cows. They're just like free-roaming, grass-fed cows grazing in a pasture. So it's a, a pretty, pretty good way to use butter. Grass-fed, baby. Okay, so uh, let's throw a piece down there, throw a piece down here. That might be all we need. I don't know if I should try buttering the top or what. You can see that butter is melting quickly. Uh, oh, I don't know if I have the proper utensils here. I need something to like... I guess I'll just use this piece of bread. A spare piece of bread. So this is on the lowest heat setting, actually. I hope my butter does not want to start burning. Um, <laughs> I love how we're just using a spare piece of bread here to just paint the butter around. Get some on the top as well. Okay, sandwich is ready to go down, guys. Sandwich is going down. I was going to do two at a time, but let's just get this first guy going. So we are going to set him there, and we are going to close the foreman, and that's going to apply a good, pretty good deal of pressure. This thing does have hinges in the back, so it is made to kind of lift up a little bit. All right, so now... Let's, uh, let's play a little bit of GTA while that guy cooks there, and then we'll check him in a little bit. Um, <clears throat> how do I make my own butter? Oof, that's a good question. We did not make that butter. I, I should clarify, that is, that is still store-bought butter. Uh, just a, a good quality butter. Alright, so I gotta get a wanted level here. Let's get a genuine wanted level. Uh, weapon, get all weapons. Uh, oh no, is this the controller with the broken L button? I think it is. Alright, let's uh... Hey, how's it going you guys? You guys enjoying some camping? You guys, are you liking your camping? Huh? Yeah, go camping now, you can't do that. In fact, I should... You know what? I'm gonna light their tents on fire. <laughs> is that too far? Is it too far to uh, light their tents on fire? I don't think so. I think that's what they would want me to do. They're, they'd probably be like, yes, please burn our campsite down. Oh, yeah, we're going to even light the fire on fire. Yeah! <laughs> this is ridiculous. I can't believe I just found some campers. I'm burning their cars, burning their campsite. They all ran away. Ooh. Okay, cops are coming. The cops- Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! 
Franklin, 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 no! Oh, jeez, I'm leaving blood trails and everything. The tents are still on fire. Oh, my gosh, this entire area is burning. Oh, no! Why does my thing work? There we go. It wouldn't start. Oh, and that car is about to explode. Is it... I gotta get out of here. I hear the sirens. Oh! Uh, okay, okay. Alright. I think the rule should be no pausing allowed. Even if I have to die, I don't think I should be allowed to pause the game. You guys think I should check the sandwich yet? Is it time? It's on the lowest heat setting, but even the lowest setting's pretty hot. Whoa, 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 what? What? It would not let me control that thing. It was just riding a, a wheelie. Oh my goodness, what is even happening? We're down here in this gully. I gotta check the sandwich, guys. I really gotta check the sandwich. This is a perfect spot to do it. Whoa, we are cooking fast here. I don't have a spatula. All right, this fork will do. Wow, I can't believe how fast that cooked. I mean, I think it's pretty much done. Wow, that is hot. That is hot. That is hot. Look at that, guys. That is a well-cooked sandwich. Oh my gosh. You can see the spinach. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, cops are back. Cops are back. Uh, uh, uh. Where do I set this? Set this over here. Oh gosh. I don't want to get my controller greasy. Where are they shooting at me from? Nowhere to go. Oh, I do have somewhere to go. Look at this. Oh crap, I have nowhere to go. Okay, okay. Let me get away from these guys. I gotta start preparing the next sandwich here. Alright, let me lay low here for a little while. Let me low here. Lay low. Uh, okay. Next sandwich. Let's get it going. This guy's gonna be faster. This guy's gonna be a faster sandwich construction. Cheese. It's going down. It's going down. Meet me at the mall. Isn't that a song by that one guy? Alright, three slices of cheese on there. Here's some uh, some meat going down. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, they're shooting at me. What? Oh, man. Alright, I've got time. I've got time. Where'd that sausage go? I gotta be quick here. This is not good, not good. That guy's coming up on me. Okay. They're still shooting at me, but they don't seem to be approaching, which is good because that's buying me some time. Uh, let's throw these tomatoes down. One more slice of tomato to get ready. Then we're gonna put a little bit more butter on the grill. Oh, okay, they're running out. They're running out. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Oh, I have stuff sticking to my fingers. This is not working out. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I cheated to save my engine. Alright. Oh, okay, so this, this grill is still on. Um, let me give it a little wipe down here for the next sandwich. That way the butter doesn't want to burn too much. Okay. I'm going to throw a Molotov at this guy. Oh! Throw a Molotov at him! Let's go! Okay, um, what do we need next on this one? We need the spinach. What does that tool by your name stand for? Oh, that means he's a moderator. I thought you were talking to me. Uh, trying to grow a while running from the police. <laughs> Honestly. I mean, it, it helps that they're not approaching. It helps a lot. Ooh, I almost dropped that spinach. That's close. Alright, we got just enough spinach for a third sandwich here. Um, did we hit everything on this one? I think we did. We got the cheese, the meat, the tomato, the spinach. Oh, we haven't been using the hot peppers! Nobody reminded me! Alright. We need some hot peppers on this one. These ones are mm, delicious. All right, so uh, I gotta get out of here. 
I'm gonna unplug the foramen real quick until we were ready to use it again. I should have just done that immediately. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my goodness, I can't believe that. Yo, Matthew, what's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. Guys, if you haven't dropped a like yet, please drop a like down below if you're enjoying the stream. It only takes literally half a second, and it does help out a lot. Uh, so please, 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 if you're enjoying the stream, drop that like. How long have I been streaming for? About half an hour or so. Okay, um, here's what we're gonna do. I want my monster truck back. I want my monster truck back. And... We want to get to the top of Mount Chiliad. Okay. All right. All right, let's turn off this radio. This is a uh, Grand Theft Auto radio. So weird. Oh, add bacon. Mm, I think we have bacon in the fridge downstairs. Whatever. We already have our, our summer summer sausage. Is that what it was? All right. I'm gonna take a bite of the sandwich, guys. A bite of the first sandwich because I think it's cool enough now. And I haven't eaten anything like all day. So I'm going to uh, sample this first sandwich. Now, this one is without the hot peppers. Hot canned peppers are going on the next one. Uh, let's see here. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. That is melty and good. Oh my goodness. It's all warm, everything's soft, kind of just like melted together. Mmm, man. Mmm. Mm hmm. That's what it's all about right there. Okay. Sorry, I'm kind of like eating like a pig. But I, I am trying to be quick here. <laughs> Um, you guys think this game screen's a good size? I think it's a pretty good size. I was going to make it bigger, but I didn't want to cover up the grill and the cutting board, so I don't know. This is pretty hot. The, the pepper jack, the pepper jack adds a lot of heat in there. Add eggs. Yes, guys, believe it or not, I've cooked eggs on here before. You know what? Yes or no, guys? Should we put an egg on the next sandwich? Let me know here in the chat. If you guys if you guys want it, I might be able to make it happen. Let me know if uh, we should add egg here to the next one. How is this grilling? Because this is called a George <coughs> Foreman grill. It's called the George Foreman grill, and so that is how it is grilling. And when you cook things, it gives you these grill marks and all that nice stuff. The only difference is it's uh, it's an electric grill, you know? That sandwich is delicious. In fact, I'm gonna... Uh, I needed, it, like, a little bit more space here. Mmm. That cheese, though. Mmm. Alright, so, I think... Here's what we'll do, then. Put the big game with the grill. Do you guys like it? Let me see. We could do something more like this. Um, let me see here. Where's the... Uh, Um, I don't know. I kind of like that the main focus here, though, is the foreman, rather than the game. I don't know. Alright, I gotta start getting this, uh, next sandwich ready. Let me finish the first one. This thing is spicy. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. 
the grill's hot, the sandwich is hot, things are heating up. Okay. So for this next one, we are adding some hot peppers, as you can see. They're not super, super hot, but I mean, they'll get you burning, and I'm already burning, so this should be, this should be interesting. These are going to smell really good on here, they're going to taste really good on here. Peppers brined in vinegar and oil, oh my gosh. So good. You can put them on cheese and crackers, it's delicious. You slap them on a sandwich, it's delicious. Okay. I'm not going to go too overboard on them because it's already hot. Here goes our spinach. Put some bread on top. Guys, we are going to do an egg for the final sandwich, I think. I think we'll do an egg for the final one. Original was better. Big grill screen. I agree, Mr. Bassman. For Foreman Fridays, the gaming is not the focus. The gaming's just uh, a little sideshow. The focus is the Foreman, right? Okay. <clears throat> Alright, yeah. Put the grill back on. Good idea. You mean plug it back in? I almost forgot. Thank you uh, for the reminder there, DeAndre. What kind of peppers are those? Um, I'm not sure. Sure, it could be, it could be anything from some jalapenos in there to maybe like some um, Hungarian hot wax, maybe. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure the exact kind. Are you going to do another cliff crash video anytime soon? My toddler loves them. That's awesome. I should do more. Yeah, I didn't know that uh, people were still like, uh, I don't know, wanting me to make more of those. There's some butter. Let's get a little more butter. This egg should be interesting. If we we're really <clears throat> grilling an egg on this, this is gonna be this is gonna be crazy. So we're gonna use our bread brush here and brush some oil around. Oh, trusty bread brush. What would we do without you? Uh, we still gotta make it to the top of Mount Chiliad. This is uh. I don't know. You know, I wanted to play games and cook at the same time, but the gaming's kind of taking a back seat to the cooking. But maybe that's how it should be. Alright, sandwich number two going down. Okay. Beautiful. Alright, um... Let me see. I'm gonna have to run and grab that egg in a little bit, but this is our chance to uh, this is our chance to play. Let's see here. So I do want to get a little bit of a wanted level. It can't be too high of a wanted level because then it'll just I'll just die immediately. Why well, don't I have a wanted star yet? Oh, that guy just crashed. Nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. How did that not give me a wanted star? Are you serious? Do I have wanted levels off or something? How much havoc do I need to cause? How much havoc do I need to cause? Okay, there we go. We have angry drivers on us and everything. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's following me on a dirt bike with his, uh... With his pistol out and everything. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Yo guys, quick reminder. What the hell is this? Okay, what you are looking at is Foreman Friday, where we cook food on the George Foreman while playing video games. Just to show you guys just how easy cooking can be. You know, people build up cooking to be this big, like, oh, it's too hard, I don't know how. You can literally get a Foreman and put it in your office or your bedroom. I mean, make sure you don't burn the house down. They do get hot. You need to be careful. What am I doing spin tires next next week? Next week for sure. Oh yeah, let's see if we can lift this real quick. Let's see if we can lift the... Uh, excuse me. Let's see if we're able to lift the monster truck. Ooh! I think we can. Nice! Oh my gosh, what?! I didn't think you could lift it this high! 
Oh, now this is a monster truck. Oh my gosh, this is sick. Wow. We might need to make this wheelbase wider. Oh, now we can pop wheelies! Oh my gosh! Alright, let's make this wheelbase wider real quick. So that, uh, so that we're not constantly turning over. Suspension menu, front track width. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay, rear track width, 1.6. There we go. There we go. We're lifted so high now that I think we can pop a wheelie upon accelerating. Oh, yeah. I don't know how well we can control it, though. Alright. We better, uh... uh I gotta check this, this sandwich here, but... No pausing allowed. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness. Alright, here's one thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make my vehicle invincible. Not me. Whoa, he just drove right underneath me. My vehicle's invincible, just so I don't explode. Because <clears throat> I, I, I shouldn't have exploded last time. That was not... not legit. Alright, this sandwich is probably... <sighs> yeah. Oh, oops. I thought that would flip it, instead I just pulled the meat off of the top. Oh, nice. Alright guys, this sandwich is done. Looks fantastic. I am getting shot at though. I am getting shot at. I am taking damage. Oh my gosh. Alright, so the final sandwich that we have to do would be the, uh, the egg sandwich. We're actually gonna slap an egg down on here, fry it, and hope for the best. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get up this. I'm just gonna hang out against this tree here for a second. All right, let's let's lay low up here for a moment because I don't think they know that I'm up here. I dare you to eat the whole stick of butter. This isn't even a stick of butter. This is a brick of butter. <laughs> no way I'm eating a brick of butter. No way. I see smoke on the right side. Yeah, there was some smoke coming up. I think our butter was burning a little bit. As long as the smoke's not coming from somewhere else, like, uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? Am I taking fire? Okay, I don't think I'm getting hit. I don't think I'm getting hit. Um... Okay, I know I said I wouldn't pause, but I need to run and grab that egg real quick. So, let's unplug the grill. The foreman does not have an on-off switch. Once you plug it in, it's just on. Um, Alright, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab this egg real quick. Is that your emerald knife again? Yes, but it's a different one. Instead of the little paring knife that we we're using, this is a uh, serrated utility knife. Of course, endorsed by the great Emerald. Emerald Magassi, or whatever his name is. I don't know. Okay. Um, here's what I'm gonna do guys. Let's do a like spike right now. I'm gonna run and grab this egg. You guys start the like spike. I'll do shout outs when I get back. Drop them down below. Tell me in the chat that you did. Three, two, one, like spike! I'll be right back. Okay. Wow, walking back into here smells a lot like uh, burnt butter or burnt something. Thank you guys for uh, getting that like spike going. I'm back with my egg. Uh, shout out going out to Eduardo, Cameron, Peyton, Doctor, Dominion, Arbiter, or Arbiter, uh, Redneck, Fuvot, Zone Zero, Blake Pierce, DeAndre Flex, Coy Howard, uh, Wesley Hobbs, 
J. Did I already say J Dominion? I think I did. Christian Olivares. Um, who else do we have here? We got LG Splash. Jason De Los Santos. Hi, 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 hi. William, Redneck, Nick, Aaron. Thank you guys all for dropping those likes down below. So the egg that I came back with, guys... Ooh, these pieces of bread aren't even the same size. Look at this. I'm making a sandwich with two unlike pieces of bread. But oh well. Oh well. We're going to make it work. We always make it work. Okay, so let's cut off probably just one more slice of cheese here. I think that should be enough because our bread's not very big. So this egg was actually laid by my sister's chickens out back. This is not even a store-bought egg. This is about as fresh farm egg as you can get. This is legit. So this should be quite interesting here. Um, I think we're going to fry the egg first. I need more meat cut up, though. Um... Okay, okay, Grand Theft Auto is going to have to wait for one second, so here's how we're going to do this. Let's put down a little bit of butter for the egg. I don't think it would stick anyway, but just in case, let's get our butter brush here. Oh, I forgot the foreman is not plugged in. Let's start by plugging it in. I think that's a good, good place to start. Okay. Yo, Eric, thanks for dropping the like backwards. David, Dylan, Janice, Pepe, Ian, uh, Ethan, Bib, Eduardo, Divan, Devon. Thank you guys uh, for dropping those likes. Very, very much appreciated. Okay. Weirdest way to paint butter on. Using just like a spare piece of bread. So, so strange. Okay, guys, here we go. Um, I'm going to put this trash can in my lap here for the eggshell. I wasn't really prepared to deal with eggshell. Was not planning on it. We'll put down a paper towel first. All right, so let's get this egg going. We're going to cook the egg first, then the sandwich, and then put the egg on the sandwich. Got a little bit of yolk on my desk there. No! There's already shell in it. Uh, metal knife on Teflon. Must be careful. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, so this egg is cooking up pretty nicely here. <clears throat> uh, Stallion. Yo, shout out to you, Stallion Adolfson. Shout out to you, man. He was here before the stream started, and I was chatting with him before we even started today. So thanks for still being here, dude. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, so I have a plastic spatula for this Teflon grill. You don't want to use a metal spatula. You'll scratch the heck out of the Teflon. While this egg cooks, let's start uh, building the next sandwich. So this one will be nice and cheesy. Those are some thick pieces of cheese. Um... What else are we going to need here? That egg's going to take a little while, but not too long. Um, let's get a little bit more. You guys, can you hear the sizzle? Let me know if you can hear the sizzle. Oh, I think you can hear it. I think you can. Um, okay, one more slice. Okay, that's it for the meat. Um, egg looking pretty good here. I'm not sure when we should flip them, though, exactly. I should get a P.O. box. I should. I might. Maybe I can use my mom's. I don't know. I wonder if she would mind, because my mom has one. So maybe... No, I probably shouldn't do that. I probably shouldn't flood my mom's mailbox like that. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do peppers on this one, too. Um, these things are just too good to not, not put on. Okay. 
Not too much of them. They go, a little bit of these peppers go a long way. They're strong, they've got vinegar in them, they're spicy, they're very flavorful. Um, so I'm gonna flip this egg so that we, I'm not gonna do a sunny side up egg on a sandwich, that's just. All right guys, here we go, the most important part of the whole thing, of the egg part anyway. Flipping it. Can I do it? All right. I think that was a well-executed flip. I didn't think that, uh, I thought I was gonna break the yolk, to be honest with you. All right, sandwich is here. We need a little bit more tomato. And then, uh, what else? Then the spinach. Do I still do Twitch? I haven't really streamed to Twitch in quite a while. I've really just become almost like exclusively a YouTuber. Um, I would consider going back to Twitch if there was a reason to, but honestly, I, I don't know. I don't know if I really see a whole big reason. Crack the egg on your head. <laughs> Flip the egg on your head? Yeah, do you want me to burn my face off? Maybe you should uh, make this cooking thing a normal live stream occurrence, even when not gaming. You might be right. The more that I do this, I think I'm realizing that it's gonna be hard to game and cook at the same time. To be honest, guys, I thought we would be doing more gaming during the stream, but simply, you can't do it. I mean, if we were doing a steak, I could, because a steak, you set it and you forget it, but when you're assembling sandwiches, that leaves very little time to uh, actually like, play the game. Okay, this egg might be getting close. The egg might be getting close to being done here. I'm gonna stack some spinach up on this guy. So, I think he's ready to go. We did the peppers, we did the tomatoes. I think our egg's probably ready to come off. Let's flip it over again. Oh, it looks like it wants to explode. Oh my goodness. Nice. Okay, it might still be yolky in the center, but there is our egg. Um, not bad. Not bad at all. So let's set the egg over here. And for the final time, we are going to butter up the grill. Should be the last of the butter that we need. Okay, and uh, I think from there, I mean, basically, we just gotta put on the sandwich, let it cook, slap on the egg. This one will be pretty easy. I feel like the first one was the toughest, but that makes sense. Well, not even tough, that's not the word for it. It's very simple to do, but it was like the, um, I guess, the experimental sandwich. And once that one worked, we, we knew where we were going. Um, do I play the hunter? What do you mean the hunter? Is that a game? I guess it probably is. I do not. Okay. Final sandwich going down now. Hopefully our egg is still nice and hot. Alright, let's play a little bit of GTA while that cooks now. I need to get my headset back on. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm gonna die! I am so dead. Oh, look at my life. Look at my life. No way I survived this. No way. Oh my gosh, what is even happening? Oops. Alright, maybe I can get up here. Ah, but see, I lifted this monster truck extra high. This thing has like a two foot extra lift on it. Ooh, okay, it's actually climbing fairly well. I thought maybe we'd be, like, falling backwards down the mountain like this. Wow, that was actually working out really well for the most of that. Thinking about subscribing, iPhone Master, I would love if you did, dude. I would love if you did. But only do it if your heart tells you that it's the right thing to do, you know? Don't do it because I'm telling you to do it. Do it because you want to do it, you know? Alright, 
I don't know if I'm getting up Mount Chiliad, uh, that way. Oh, no! Oh my gosh, what? I did not feel like I was going that fast. Do I play Fortnite? I do play a little bit of Fortnite. I was planning on playing some with my uh, housemate tonight, but looks like I might be doing something else now. I'm not sure. It's called Hunter Call of the Wild. Oh, is that the actual hunting game? Like, it's just a uh, hunting simulator, kind of? Cook pancakes next Friday. I was thinking about it. I think if I can cook an egg on here, there's no reason that I shouldn't be able to do a pancake. They wouldn't look what, quite right, because it's not a flat pan. But that would be kind of a uh, fun. Uh, that would be a fun thing about it. Yo, Jonathan, what is up, dude? Welcome to the stream. I hear some sizzling. We're going to let this go a little longer. We're going to add our egg back. Uh, I'm just going to put this piece of bread in the trash. There's actually not a giant mess to clean up, guys. I mean, I thought this was going to be a huge project, but this just goes to show you, cooking's easy. Cooking is easy. We are literally doing it while just chilling, playing GTA V. Let me get this bread away. Ooh, this one smells good. That must be the pepper oil hitting the uh, hitting the grill. Oh, it's actually sizzling. Oh. Can you guys hear that? Please tell me you can hear that. Probably not over the bag wrinkling. All right, uh, how long should I let this go? Wow, why is this one sizzling so much? That is, oh, it looks so good. Oh man. Alright, you know what? I can clean this stuff up when I end the stream. You know what? There's no reason to start cleaning up now. Yo, iPhone Master, thank you for uh, deciding to sub, dude. Welcome to the family. I'm glad you decided to join the rest of us here. Expert Gamer, thank you for subbing as well. Guys, let me know. Anybody else here who just subscribed today? Anybody else who just even maybe subscribed during the stream? Let me know. Cook a five-star meal, steak. Racer, that's a great idea, and I was saying that same thing. I was thinking I should try to do, like, a gourmet slash five-star fancy meal on a foreman. All right, this sounds like this might be done. Whoa! We are literally boiling over here. Okay, let's, uh... Oh, oh, jeez. I don't know why the bread's not hotter. Like, you're able to pick it up by the bread. You would think I'd be burning the heck out of my hand. But I'm not. Wow, this is the best one yet, guys. The best one yet. Look at that. Cheese melting out the side. Spinach hanging off. You've got pepper oil kind of dripping off. You can see some tomato over here on the other side. My goodness. Alright, so... Here's what we're going to do. We need to add the egg back to that sandwich. Do you remember me? I asked about your eye. <laughs> Dylan, you better still be asking me about that like two years from now, man. You better not forget. I don't want you to ever forget. No, I'm kidding. Alright, the one thing I am going to do real quick is just wipe this grill down. You definitely want to get this thing started. Uh, pro tip, if you guys ever want to use a foreman, if you have a foreman, uh, you want to clean it while it's still hot. It's very easy to clean. I'm, I might not even use soap and water. Grills are kind of self-cleaning in a way. You kind of rub it down, and if you leave a little bit of grease on it, it doesn't really matter. It's a sanitary surface. It's kind of like a skillet. You know how you never let a skillet touch soap? You don't wash it. You wipe it out when you're done, and that is how you take care of a skillet. So this is kind of, I think, the same idea. Um... Let me just hit this top part real quick, and then we're going to add the egg back to the sandwich. This is the cleanup, guys. Look how easy this is. Like, I will, I'll do uh, cleaning sometimes, but I don't wash it with soap every time. Maybe I'll do that, like, once every two or three times, but I mean for now... It's like a skillet. You wipe it down. It's sanitary. It's so hot. There's no bacteria able to grow anyway. Ooh, look at that. The foreman, baby. The foreman. Okay. So. 
Maybe we should let this guy cool. No, you know, we're going to close that. It's making too much heat. Okay, so here's all we have left to do. Um, I'm going to... I need to use this green plate over here. So I need to get some stuff off of it. So Mr. Meat, you're going to go back in here. And oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm about to add an egg to this thing. So here's what we still have, guys. We cooked three sandwiches today. I already ate the first, if you're just tuning in now. But, um, ooh, that's pretty hot. Oh well, it's not too hot. So what we're gonna do here is, which one of these is easier to open? I think I'm gonna add the egg to this one. The other one's like melted shut. Oh, ho, ho, yes. All right. I know I have to eat at least half this thing on stream. I know you guys need to see me at least try the egg sandwich. I'm not going to eat both of these on stream here. I'll probably put one in the fridge, to be honest. That way, when I know that I'll be hungry at like 10 o'clock tonight, it'll be like, oh, yeah. Still got that sandwich. All right. So I think in that department, that's all good. Um, there, I still need to get to the top of Mount Chiliad. I'm at least doing that. And then maybe we can, oh, whoa, <laughs> maybe we can end it there, but I at least need to get up to Mount Chiliad. At this point, it's personal. Okay. Um, what do we have going on in the chat here? I was born in an oven. What? Oh, because you're a slice of pizza. I get it. Ha! <laughs> Uh, get something to drink. Uh, honestly, I do. I wish I had something to drink besides water. Water is not the best thing to drink with a sandwich. Milk would probably go well with it. Where's the third sandwich? In my stomach. I already ate it. Alright, so let's, uh, let's give this egg sandwich a try. I'm gonna bite right into where the egg's at. Oh, are there? This ends now? What? Am I being chased? Mmm. That is a, uh, oh, you can see some egg yolk. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh yes. It's dripping down. Mmm. Right into the heart of the egg. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm just like showing you guys the food in my mouth. I'll try to get better at all that moving forward. It's just the first form and fried, I don't worry about it. The sparks when you plug the form in, in is good because it means there's a connection and there are no shorts. Thank you for informing me. It just looked weird because this plastic on this outlet is really thin, so when it sparked, I could see the entire thing light up from inside, just because this plastic's so thin. So it was like, the entire thing lit up. I was like, whoa. Wow. This is just a pleasing, pleasing sandwich. I almost don't want to touch it anymore just because it looks so good. Wow. Guys, what do you think? Foreman Friday number one, success or no? I'd say this is a, a success. Be Gamer, yes, I'll try to remember to check my, uh, my Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> Gamer Chat, you are right, dude. I made sure to squeeze the egg a little bit so that it gushed out just a little bit. Mmm. How does it taste out of ten? Well, let's, let's say this. How could it be improved? I think with the right type of sauce, it could be improved. Because it's very good. But some portion of my palate is left desiring something. <clears throat> and I'm not sure exactly what sauce it should be or necessarily what flavor it should be. But I feel like, um, I don't know. Some kind of sauce would have rounded it off nicely. Maybe also some garlic powder. Not too much, because you don't want it to be too garlicky, but a little bit of garlic powder, maybe a little bit of onion powder also, would have, uh, you know, really rounded off the the realm of flavors. I don't know what to call them. 
Make quesadillas? Good idea. It's almost too simple, though. Maybe we do chicken quesadillas, and then we can cook the chicken first. I might say uh, forget getting to the top of Mount Chiliad, guys. Now that I just fell down to the bottom... Yes, the stream was very successful. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. <clears throat> like I said at the beginning, I think what I'm going to start doing is... Uh, there's this new tab on my YouTube channel, and I haven't used it yet, guys, but definitely check it out. If you go to my channel, there should be a community tab, and the community tab allows me to post things to you guys, poll you guys. We can say, like, what should I make next week? And for example, maybe next week's form and Friday would be, should we do steak? Should we do a chicken quesadilla? Or should we do pancakes? And then you guys vote, and whichever has the most votes, that is what I cook for the next form and Friday. So... Um, oh yeah, we could grill some mayonnaise. That's a good idea. Oh, you're saying put mayonnaise on that. You know, it's weird. When I was little, I didn't like mayonnaise, but now that I'm older, mayo would be good on that. I admit, it would be. Have you seen the new cars on GTA 5 off-road? Oh, I don't know if I have. If you had to choose between a car, would you choose a Lamborghini? Mmm, maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> There's a lot of really cool supercars. I'm not like bent on any supercar. McLarens are really cool, Lambos are really cool, Ferraris are really cool. That's, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to, hard to pick. Make fried rice ramen pizza. What? Yo, Corey, welcome to the stream, dude. I'm sorry you got here so late and missed the cooking. Uh, I'm sorry you had to miss it, but at least you can go back and watch this as a video. Uh, I love you too, Eric. Thank you for being here, dude. Pancakes on Friday morning. That would be cool. A morning stream. Pancakes would look really funny on here due to the nature of this grill. You know, they would be like, they would have ripples on the edges and they would have grill marks in them. They might actually look really cool. They might be really, really good pancakes. Alright, so we've been streaming for over an hour here. Actually, not bad. <clears throat> this is cool because it allows me to stream and make my lunch and eat it all at the same time. Like, talk about killing three birds with one stone. My gosh. Oh, take a photo and put it on Instagram. Isaac, which camera am I looking at? Here's a camera, here's a camera. You are the man. I stopped eating that because I was like, oh, it looks so good. I'll photograph it and say the result of the first Foreman Friday. What is your favorite brand of shoe? I don't really have a favorite brand. When I was younger, I liked K-Swiss. I don't know why. Now I, I haven't owned K-Swiss in years. Excuse me. Um, I don't really have a favorite brand. I don't know. I wear some Adidas. I have some, um, like Converse. Or not Converse. Something like Converse. I forget. I don't know. Um, Sushi Pokey? No. Anyways, ooh, steak quesadillas. That might be better than con uh, chicken quesadillas. Alright, guys, on that note, I think I'm gonna get the stream wrapped up, because that's a good idea. I think I should photograph this. I need to get some of this stuff put away here. I forgot about the pickles! But one thing, you forgot the pickle! No! <laughs> Who can tell me what that's from? If you can be the first person to tell me what that is from, you will win the shout out of all shout outs. I mean, it's just gonna be a shout out, but you know. I meant to eat a, a pickle with my sandwiches, because sandwiches are always served with pickles, but I forgot. So, I would stream longer, guys, but some of this needs to get put back in the fridge. I have the butter out, the cheese, the meat, uh, spinach, all that. So, as much as I'd like to keep going and hang out with you guys, I gotta probably get this sandwich in the fridge. I'm gonna photograph this one and eat this one. Um, do I... I don't know. I don't own any Jordans. I haven't bought basketball shoes since I played basketball in, like, middle school. You should make the game bigger and make the food smaller. That is making me hungry. <laughs> Here was the alternate choice for a setup. Something kind of like this. But I think I... Again, the focus of Foreman Friday is, of course, what? The Foreman. So, I, I figured, you know what? Make the game small. Make the Foreman big. Hey, so who's the first one to say Spongebob? Eduardo Rez Rezendiz, dude. Big fat shout out to you, dude. Thank you for knowing your Spongebob. That's a good episode. They were under his tongue the whole time! <laughs> uh, who else knew it? Xavier Jenkins was in a close second. One Direction was in a close third. B Gamer in fourth. Caleb in fifth. 
the SpongeBob race. <laughs> Okay, on that note, guys, thank you all for making the first Foreman Friday such a success. This was a lot of fun. Uh, I wasn't sure what to expect. I wasn't sure if it was even going to work out well. Um, it was a, a lot harder to play the game than I expected. I thought we would do more gaming and less cooking. But like I said, sandwiches need assembled. So I think, say, say we're cooking steak next time, you know, we'll just set it down, and it'll probably require, like five, six minutes of cooking, so I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll, we're going to learn more about Foreman Fridays and how best to do them. I'm going to upgrade this webcam here to give it a little bit better quality, all that good stuff. So on that note, I'm officially going to wrap up the stream. I probably will not be streaming Saturday or Sunday. Get ready, though, because next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm coming back. You will see me Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Hopefully, maybe even twice some days. But we're, we're about to get real with this. So thank you guys all for being here. I love you guys. I love your faces. You guys make this all possible. So thank you for just hanging out and watching me cook. Like, I never would have thought that I would have people sitting here <clears throat> watching me grill sandwiches. So that is awesome. That's not a grill. That is a grill. That's a George Foreman grill. Look at that. George Foreman. It's the George Foreman Grill. There you have it, baby. All right. Have, earlier you picked up the sandwich and put it on a spatula. Yeah, so? <laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to wrap up the stream. I love you all. I'll see you on Monday. Have a fantastic weekend. And I'll be back next week with Spin Tires, Grand Theft Auto, hopefully some LSPDFR, maybe some Minecraft. I don't know. We'll find out. I'll see you guys all Monday. I love you guys. And on that note, peace out.